I say grasshopper. Live in West Sacramento with more. Hi there, Davey. Hi, Felicia. Yeah, you just did a live shot not too long ago, and you were talking with the woman about all the things that they're doing for the frontline workers, yeah. and, including right here, Burgers and Brew is one of those outfits, the restaurant here that's going to help out. Let's bring in uh, Sharif Proctor. Come on in here. Uh, just talk a little bit about Burgers and Brew and what you guys will be doing to help out. So uh, we basically uh, got together to try and bring as many people in the community to, you know, put some smiles on people's faces given the, what's going on right now uh, and, and try to support and recognize our heroes in the front line that have been impacted greatly by this. So um, we served 500 meals to uh, Kaiser last week. We're serving 400 meals today to Mercy. Uh, and we got several other hospitals and other organizations that we're looking to support during this difficult time. Yeah. What can they expect to get when you uh, give them the mail? Here? Well, probably the best burger in town is going to be delivered to them as, as fresh as it can come. If, uh, if you've not been to Burgers and Brew, uh, the two owners of Burgers and Brew, Philippe and Durar brothers, have been in, in the business a long time. And this was also an opportunity for them with the hundreds of employees that they employ to try and do something to bring everyone together to support it. So they're going to be getting a, a fresh uh, burger. The meat is actually delivered daily. It was ordered yesterday specifically for this. Each day that we're doing this, the meat's coming in fresh. There's going to be a, a bag of chips inside along with uh, utensils and some condiments, along with a thank you card uh, to our frontline heroes, recognizing some of the other uh, folks that have gotten involved uh, in this whole process. So this is really as, as many people from the community coming together to support a great cause. Yeah, and you can see the work going on behind us there. They're cooking in the kitchen, the burgers are going, and then they have a lot of the employees who are preparing the meals. Gerard, come on in here. Gerard, obviously it takes a village to make stuff like this happen. Absolutely. Who is contributing and donating to this to well, make this happen? We, I, I got in touch with a lot of the vendors that we normally use for the last 20 years or so, and they were very, very helpful, and they, they took it on right away. Uh, I want to really, I'm grateful to Produce Express for giving us all the vegetables. Restaurant Depot was, was really helpful. Village Bakery in Davis, where we get our buns. Paramount Paper and Plastic. Uh, Challenge. Um, who else am I missing? Um, um, yeah. Just a lot, a lot of just people a lot out there. Of people that we, we really, Del Monte was, yeah. was with Demise from Nyman Ranch. Yeah. So there was, it was a, a group effort, you know, to help out the community and, and, and help out our own employees also stay employed and during these rough times. So we're, we really are, are very, uh, we're very, very uh, blessed that we're actually in a position like this where we can do something like this where the restaurant is closed, but at least now we're utilizing this space to do something good for our community and for all the, the customers that have been with us for, for many years. And during these tough times, again, a lot of people reaching out and lending a helping hand and doing a lot of good things. You can really see the community coming together through things like this. Burgers and Brew is starting to smell really good in here. Guys, back to you. Nice. Thanks so much, Dave. 947.